name's Maria and welcome to week two of Jumping to Gymnastics at Home. This week we're going to be doing jumping. So before we start, I wonder, can you check you've got a few things around you? We'll need a scarf and perhaps a hula hoop and also a partner. Can you ask a mum, dad or one of your siblings perhaps to help you? Don't worry though, if you've got no apparatus or equipment or anyone to help, we can still have fun. Before we start, can I ask you to check as well that you've got enough space around you? We really don't want you bumping into anything or anyone because all we want to do is have lots of fun and learn lots of new skills. This week, I've got two gymnasts to help me. They're going to help me and demonstrate everything. So for you to join in, they're going to be showing you all the moves first. Hi. I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Chloe. Welcome girls. And don't forget, join in and copy the girls as we go along. This week's warm up game is called the washing machine game. So I'm going to explain it and the girls are going to demonstrate. So I'm going to call out a number of different ways you can get around the room. So for instance, I'm going to shout out jump in so when i shout out jump in if you can copy the girls there we go thank you ladies skip in so skipping from one foot to the other then hop in hop in on one foot one foot be careful with this one then crawling around on your hands hands and feet there we go that's it so you can copy the girls Whilst, I'm caught, whilst you're moving around, I'm going to call out items of clothes. So this is a t-shirt. So a t-shirt is standing with your arms stretched out. Then I might shout out trousers. So trousers is like a straddle stand. That's it. Then I might shout out socks. So the girls are going to show you socks. There we go. So there's two sock shapes. That's it. Or I might even shout out perhaps scarf. So scarf, nice and tall, nice and tall like a scarf. That's it. Whilst I'm doing that, I might even shout out washing machine. And this is the washing machine shape. There we go, round and round. This is why we just have to make sure that we've got enough space. Right, are you ready? Should we start? So, I'm going to shout out first. Mm, skip in, skip in. Let's skip around the room. That's it, nice and safely. T-shirt, can you remember the shape, T-shirt? That's it, stretched with your arms outstretched. Uh, washing machine, washing machine, round and round you go. That's it, well done, well done. Hop in, hop in. Up on one foot, nice and carefully, keeping your balance. Socks, socks, who can remember the shape for socks? That's it. Legs out straight, arms in the air, like a sock shape. That's it. Are you, do, are you getting involved? Crawl in, crawl in on your hands and feet, that's it. Nice and safely, making sure you don't bump into each other or anything around you. Are you ready? Washing machine. That's it. Round and round. Arms stretch out. Arms stretched out to the side. Scarf. Nice and tall. Nice and tall in a scarf shape. Well done. Well done. Jumping up and down. Up and down you go. There we go. Well done, everybody. Trousers. Trouser shape. So in a nice straddle stand. That's it. Are you ready? Washing machine. Round and round you go. Watch you don't bump into anyone. That's it. Skip in. Skip in. Are you joining in? And I think we'll have the last one now. And it is socks. Can you show us a sock shape? Well done. Really, really well done. There we go, so we've just done our warm up. Thank you girls. 
We've just finished our warm up. I bet your heart is going. So now we'll go on to our activities. So we're just going to demonstrate some of the jumping shapes that we're going to go through this week. So the girls are going to demonstrate some of the shapes that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be working on a stretch jump. Stretch jump or a straight jump. And a nice land in there from Amy as well. Very good. So a stretch jump that was. Chloe is showing us the stretch jump with a good landing shape as well. We'll be working on landings in a moment. Tuck shape. So a tuck shape, your knees come up. See if you can hide your belly button. So a tuck shape. Lovely landings. And then the last shape we're going to be working on is a star shape. So a star shape where you push your arms and legs out to the side. Brilliant. And a good land in there as well. Thank you, ladies. Very good. So the first part of our activity is we'll need your scarf. So if you have your scarf, can you pick your scarf up? Because we're just going to use our scarf to do a couple of things. So we're going to use our scarf to pass it around our body. We're going to hold it tight and pass it around our body. So let's see. Shall we see what we can do? So first of all, can you pass the scarf around your legs? Then really tight against your tummy, so around your waist, around your middle. Then around your head. Make sure it's nice and tight to your body. Then we'll see if we can pass it around one leg and then round the other in a figure eight. See if you can do it with nice straight legs. Well done. That was really, really good. So now we'll do some jumping, jumping and landing. The girls are showing you the landings we were talking about. Nice stretch jump into a nice landing shape. You pick up your scarf again. We're going to do a tuck jump. See if you can pass the scarf underneath your legs. That's why we have to hide our belly button, bring our legs up nice and high. Very good. Well done, everybody. Now we're going to show a star jump. So a star jump with our scarf this time. So we let's see if we can do a star jump and use our scarf. So Chloe's throwing her scarf up. Amy's using her scarf a little bit like a skipping rope. Fantastic. Well done. Gosh, you're going to be really good at jumping after this. So now, if you have a hula hoop, I wonder, can we pop it in front of us? If you don't, don't worry, because we're going to make a shape out of our hula hoop. We're going to make a hula hoop shape. So we're going to practice some of our jumping in and out of our hula hoop shapes. So that's it. Well done, you guys. Well done. We're going to jump in and land. That's it. If you don't have a hula hoop, you can pretend. So it doesn't really matter. And out sideways. Very good. The girls look like they're enjoying it. I hope you are. Right, this is quite tricky. We're going to see if we can jump backwards into our hula hoop. That's it. Very good. Really good use of the hula hoop. Now I wonder, can we see if we can do like a little sequence in and out? Out backwards, maybe, so the girls are showing you theirs. Make sure you're using those landings that we did as well. Very good. It can be in any, any choice of any of the jumps that we've done. Really good work. Well done, everyone. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Now, if you have a partner, if your siblings are around or mum and dad, do you want to ask them if they want to join in and help you do a sequenced routine? Sequenced routine is when you do something together. So we can also use the word synchronized routine as well. Don't worry if you haven't got anyone with you, because you can just have you can have them just on your own. So let's see. Can we do something together? So perhaps you could count to three and do a jump. There we go. The girls are showing you. It's easy for them, they're sisters, so they do everything together. That's it, up, tuck jump together. There we go. 
and a star jump with a good landing as well. Well done. So let's see. Do you want to see if you can do a synchronized or sequenced or together routine? Here we are. Maybe count to three. There we go. The girls are doing it. I wonder what yours look like. Don't forget to video your routines and pop them up onto social media. Hashtag in gymnasts at home. You tag in at British Gymnastics Official. We'll be able to see what you're doing at home. Brilliant. So there was some amazing jumping today. I'm very, very impressed with you all. So we're going to just do a bit of a cool down. If you remember at the beginning, I said cool down is as important as any part of gymnastics. So we're going to play a game. The girls are going to demonstrate this game is called Five Gears. Five Gears Cool Down Game. That's right. Right then, so there's five gears in a car. Some cars do have six. But we're going to just use five gears. When I call out gear one, gear two, gear three, we're going to do shape. Gear one is walking around in different directions. So walk around, changing your direction. When I shout out gear two, hop on the spot. Remember to hold your balance. That's it. When I shout out gear three, can you jog? There we are, jogging on the spot. When I shout out gear four, can you skip for me? That's it. Very good. And when I shout out gear five, run on the spot. So the girls are doing quick legs. Run on the spot. That's it. Right then. Are you ready? Are you ready for the game? Right then. Let's see if you can remember. What shape goes with what gear? So gear two. Hop in. Well done. Did you get hop in? Did you remember? Brilliant. Gear five. Quick legs running on the spot, running on the spot. Very good. Well done. Gear three. Gear three is jogging. Well done. That's it. Gear one. Who can remember what gear one is? Walking around the room, changing directions. That's it. Gear number two. Hop in. Hop in on the spot. Well done. Yes. Gear number four. Skip in. You're going to be so fit and good at jumping after all these exercises. Number five, gear five. Yes, running on the spot. Quick legs, quick legs, quick legs. Last but not least, gear number three, jogging. Jogging on the spot. Brilliant. I am very, very impressed. Well done, everybody. Unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this week's session. That's a shame, but you've done some brilliant jumping at home. So don't forget, like I said earlier, don't forget to video your shapes, video your jumping and send them in to at British Gymnastics Official, hashtagging gymnasts at home. We'll see you soon. Stay safe. Bye.